everybody, what's going on? Adam Agro here, and this is my pickup video for August. I only got six new games, really, so I decided to include that ColecoVision and Television Atari thing that I was talking about in the last video because I did get a few requests for it. Anyway, there's a lot to cover because of that collection, so I'm going to go ahead and go straight into it. Now, as for new games here, I actually picked up a couple of Game Gear games because they're only like about 99 cents each. I got Aladdin, which is very different from the Super and Sega counterparts. Quest for the Shaving Yak, starring Ren and Stimpy. Gotta find that Shaving Yak. And then X-Men, because yeah, can't get enough of that X-Men. Alright. And then I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tournament Fighter, and the coolest thing about this, besides the recent price drop, is it actually came with the poster and everything, so I'm really happy about that. It was worth it, was worth it just for the fucking poster. One of the uh, Konami posters, kind of like this one right here. So, hell yes. And then, uh, for newer consoles, I got Rock of the Dead. I think I paid a whopping 13 bucks for this. Pretty good, though. If you guys haven't heard about this... Go check it out. It's got Rob Zombie, Neil Patrick Harris. Pretty good. It's like a rail shooter rhythm game. Yeah, that doesn't make fucking sense. And uh, Dead Space Extraction. There was actually my last possible blockbuster location. Went out of business. Big sale on everything they had. Nobody wanted Dead Space Extraction. So I got it. I got it for like nine bucks or something like that. Okay, and this. Big thanks to my buddy Retro Snow for this one. Sold me this for a good deal. It's a Sega CDX. Really happy. I mean, I had a, a Sega CD Model 2. Has some problems though, so I got a bunch of games to play on this. I'm really happy. He gave me a good deal, and I know that I'm that all the money I gave him, he spent on Famicom games. So it's a win-win situation, really. So I'm happy about this. This is actually the same Sega CDX that he featured on his channel in his overview. So this is a famous CDX. Well worth the price. All right, now into the ColecoVision Atari stuff. I'll just start with the games here. We have Cubert. I'm a real big Cubert fan. I have it on the. Uh, pretty sure I have it on the NES. I know I have it on the Game Boy. Um, it's a really fun game. He's awesome. He's saying "fuck" right on the cover. That's dope. Love it. Here is Galaxian. How can you not love really, really early shoot 'em ups? It's great. This is Sword Quest. This is one of those uh, weird games that had a competition with it, where it gave you like no information how to do or find anything. And uh, yeah, pretty cool to have that one. Here is Tut Tut Tank Hem to Tuck. I don't fucking know how to say that. Looks pretty cool. Obviously, it's something to do with King Tut. I don't really know. I don't care. Tutankhamen. Tutankhamen. Tutankhamen is what it's called, folks. For all you youngsters like me, you cannot read. This is the uh, this is the gem of the collection, Math Grand Prix. I really don't know how you do this. Apparently, drive around in a car and hey, hey, there goes two in common. Uh, this one just looks awesome. The new comic arc. It just got this shiny fucking case. Nice, nice to have complete like Atari games. You don't see those much. This one is nice. I showed this in my last one. E.T. Here is... This one looks like a movie. Crypts of Chaos. That looks pretty awesome. Looks like a... Like a first person... Dungeon crawler going on. Pretty intense. Here's another one of those... iMagic sparkly cases. Riddle of the Sphinx. I really liked Egypt back in the day, I guess. I guess that was a thing. Oh, yeah. For all you hardcore motherfuckers out there. Strawberry Shortcake... Was it musical? Yeah, musical matchups. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. That's where it's at. Some hardcore gaming at its finest. Space War. Why not? Looks pretty good. I'm not sure what that is. There's no pictures on the back. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Tron Solar Sailor. Fuck yes. It talks. You'll actually see the game that... Or you'll actually see the voice synthesis cartridge player that I have over here. I'm, I'm sure that's out of frame, but I have it. Because I've got to have all the Tron games, for better or for worse. Here are a couple of additional joysticks uh, for the Atari plug-in right there. I only got two of them. 
because none of them are actually Atari, so they're all plugged right into them. Some more uh, miscellaneous ColecoVision. Got Dorf. I'm not, I'm not even sure what half of these are. Uh, Cosmic Avenger. Also not sure what that is. Mousetrap. I know what that is. And these even have, like, the most of these have the cards in the back, too. I'm guessing it's off the board game. Uh, the official Space Fury by Sega. Most of these are Sega games. You know, developed by Sega, so that's pretty cool. Zaxxon. Ladybug. Heard that was awesome as fuck. Venture. I love cartridges. Smurf, which the Naked Emperor told me was the most badass game he had for the ColecoVision. Carnival, also another second one. Yeah, here's the good stuff right here. Donkey Kong. Also Donkey Kong. And Donkey Kong Jr. So, hell yeah. Those two made it for me. Alright, so here's a ColecoVision. For a lot of you who haven't seen a ColecoVision, man, this is a little dusty. Not his fault, my fault. Uh, here's a ColecoVision. It's got the uh, pads right here. These actually can come out, and you can put additional ones in. All this stuff is in pretty good working order. I'm going to have to put this... Well, here, I'll show you that I actually... There's actually two of them in a lot, so if one doesn't work or one controller doesn't work, i got another one to work with. Okay. So here is the expansion module number one for the ColecoVision. I think this is what... Yeah, this is what plays the Atari games. Plug it in the expansion port of the ColecoVision, and boom, you can play Atari games. So that is fucking awesome. Most of this technology is older than I am. So here it is. Here is the voice synthesis module, which basically sounds like you're drowning a robot. But it's really, really cool. So the Tron game actually, like, talks to you. It's, it's creepy. It's weird. And uh, I might actually show that off, because it's just the technology is amazing. But... Yeah, so there it is. And then you plug the game in the side, and it'll make noise. Man, I would love to take this apart and see what's in here, but I don't think I'll be able to get it back together. And then here is a pride and joy, the best condition uh, in television I've ever seen in my life. It looks like a record player. So there it is. It has this nice dust cover, which is apparently doing its job. And then an additional cover, which actually says in television. Uh, and there you go. There. Oh, so beautiful. Is the Intellivision. It's got Lock and Chase, Star Strike locked in it. Maybe wondering, hey man, you didn't show off those games. What the fuck? Oh, you remove this? Boom! Holy shit, I am overwhelmed as fuck right now. And. <laughs> additional game itch! Built in storage, you can't beat that. Complete copy of Masters of the Universe. Didn't come with a comic though. I've said about that. I would love to have a comic that old. Here we got bowling, <laughs> NFL football, golf, love the storage unit, baseball, most of these I, I can't give a fuck about, but I mean they're in such good shape, Utopia, is that baseball again? If I didn't say baseball, baseball, backgammon, just about as bad as baseball, I should run reversey. B-17 Bomber. Bomb Squad. Those have to be good. They have gold labels on them. There is Space Spartans. Space Spartans. Sea Battle. Sharp Shot. Astro Smash? Yeah, Astro Smash. That's good. There's Star Strike. There's Lock and Chase. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, yeah. Heard it up. Armor Battle. Space Armada. This one's not in the best shape. Night Stalker. These are all on television games, by the way. Space Battle. Do I have Space Battle? I think a lot of these just have space in it. Space Hawk. Sub Hunt. I almost said that wrong. <laughs> Boy. 
Las Vegas Poker and Blackjack. Math fun. Those are two words that should never be together. Word fun. I spoke too soon. Atlantis. This actually has a nice... Goodbye. And Demon Attack. That also has good good art on it. These are from iMagic. iMagic knew their shit. And then uh, here we got a couple more inlays here. And Frogger. Frogger's a good one. Yeah, I got all the inlays you could possibly need. I'm not going to take all these out, but... All the instructions. Naked Emperor, you are the fucking man for keeping this shit in pristine condition. And uh, not wanting it. So, yeah. So that was it. It was all my old crap. And, uh, yeah, well, I look forward to playing all these really old games. Not sure how to get footage of them because 1970s technology is ridiculous. But that was it. I hope you enjoyed it, everybody. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.